My name is Christian Anders Gustafson, and I just graduated from the University of California, San Diego. Well, as I said, I've grown up in the water. I've taken trips from Denali to the Everglades. We'll be rowing, we'll be eating, and we'll be sleeping. And for me, that's just another day's work. That work is his passion. After spending years falling in love with water, swimming, lifeguarding, living between the Mississippi River and Lake Michigan, this former Bloomington resident has started an organization just to address water quality issues. It's important to realize that we do have an impact because you can't solve a problem unless you know something about it. The conclusion Christian Gustafson drew that got him going was his belief that the Mississippi is the most polluted river in the United States. One recent Reader's Digest article called him a river keeper on a quest to heal the Mississippi. The research I performed right down here at the Scripps Institute of Oceanography indicates that the, the Mississippi River does impact the ocean more than any other form of pollution. I've done all this because I want to do it and because I'm passionate about it. Because I realize that there's a lot that's going on with this river and it's, it's in dire need of attention. His belief that access to clean water is a fundamental right of all living beings keeps him focused on his goal. He wants to significantly reduce water waste and pollution by those living around the Great River as he works to keep the conversation going at the national level. I really want to uh, illustrate that to people back home because we all live in a watershed and there is no telling how much uh, damage we can do because everything just kind of floats on by under the surface. His plans to make cleaning the river his life's work were set into motion with a first-hand experience traveling the waterway a couple of years ago in a canoe, a trip he took twice, so he could see and feel firsthand what needs to be done. Recap of day nine since uh, we left from Memphis yesterday. I was inspired to do this trip by myself based on my uncle's travels. My uncle Bob and my uncle Greg went down the river in 1966. They took a canoe, left from Pekin, Illinois, and took it all the way down to New Orleans. Uh, I was inspired from that because I always look up to these guys, not just them, but other guys in my family who have gone their own route, taken their own uh, time to check things out for themselves. And he hopes to encourage the people of the Midwest to hold delicately their power over the Mississippi always keeping in mind that everything from farm chemical runoff to tossing plastic bottles ruin the river over time, all of which winds up in the ocean. He says despite seeming far away, it's vital to understand ocean pollution is actually in our control in a big way. But the more I looked into this trip, the more I realized that there's a lot of things that are actually wrong with this river, and I don't want to just go downstream with blinders on. His knowledge of chemistry is evident, mixed with his sensitivity and sentimental attachment to the water he learned to love as a child. Mix them together, and he's become a force to be reckoned with on the national stage. Water. We showed Christian Gustafson with the Scripps Institute of Oceanography our video that we captured just under... Christian is working on his graduate degree now in marine biodiversity and conservation at the University of California, San Diego. His schedule is full when mixed with demanding work of cleaning the river and showing others how. It's all in an effort to teach anyone he can reach that every person can be a solution to water pollution. And he doesn't have to tell you he loves his mission. Just hearing him speak tells the story. I mean, people work in an office for eight hours a day. This is my office. 